Wow, I cannot believe this. Uh, oh, you did like You jag. Damn it, Jordan, damn it, Jordan. Who built these? How the f are we supposed to screw this cabinet? But everything should be the same. So in order to be semi-feasible with the countertops in the kitchen, um, we're gonna go with concrete. Now I've reached out to uh, Z Countertops and Fishstone. Fishstone does a lot of GFRC and amazing high-end concrete products. And the Z Countertops Forms company is like the premier company for concrete counter forms, exactly that. So we're gonna do like a, a little bit of an old school style video here where we just bring you through for the whole process and actually teach you guys a little bit because we know this is something that a lot of people uh, DIY and try themselves. So there should be fun. So first thing we gotta do is reinforce some of these cabinets. This is where the dishwasher goes. We have to give the hardy backer, which will be the base of our concrete, something to rest on. So we're gonna make a couple pieces that go in here and then we're going to do the same thing in our sink cabinet. We have a template for our sink that came with our sink. Sink to sink, sink to sink. So then we gotta put some reinforcements in here and we can start cutting the hardy backer. Then you gotta rip these down to two inches. Why is it freaking snowing? Got a build coming out soon. So we need to cut the hole for the sink. I bought this Kraus sink. This company is pretty cool and I like their stuff. And it came with a template, thank the Jeebus. So I'm clamping down my hardy backer. There's a little tip there, because I can't screw it down. I have everything laid out to where I want it, where it's gonna be. That way I can then center my sink to the cabinet and not have to worry about movement. My bit is crying. I don't really know what I'm doing most of the days. Here I'm gonna try to make sure that perfectly centered. So now I can know by using my speed square where the edges of my cabinet are. So because we have the sink faucet here, I'm just gonna double, triple, quadruple, and quintuply check to make sure that wherever we put it ain't gonna run into shit. If it's there, we've got plenty of clearance. We could even go back an inch probably and still be good. No start, tip on the line. Ben's gonna count it. Three, two, one, go. On go, slam it. Three, two, one, go. Jordan did make the excellent point that once this is poured, there is no reversing it. Sledgehammer. Like if you wanted to take these counter or these cabinets apart, there is. No, we're just gonna go with an epoxy flood coat and make it look like they're in it if they don't work. These knuckle draggers are dragging knuckles. And while they're doing that, I'm gonna show you a little tipster. Just the tips with nips. We're using this hardy. Jordan, shut the f up! We're using this hardy backer as the bottom substrate for these pouring concrete countertops. And then there's a little lip that goes around it to give you the form for the edge. These then permanently live forever in the countertop. We have these pieces together, but because of the way the wall is and everything, and hardy backer's really hard to cut accurately, you get these little gaps. Apps, right? So, a little duct tape's gonna fix that. This is just to keep the concrete inside it and not in the cabinet, because unfortunately, as much as we love concrete, we don't love it in the cabinet. So you just do a little stripper, just like that. And all it's doing is keeping the wet concrete in there until it dries. Just the tip. You tell them to make sure they're buying the most expensive duct tape they can find. I just did that to make you sad. Wobbledy, wobbledy, wobble. What have we learned? Don't Judge. ever blindly trust Jordan. And if you do, be ready to pay with your wallet and time. I think we're gonna be okay here. I'm valuable. Hello, peoples. This is our Z Counter Form from Z Counter Form. It's a pretty cool product. Z Counter Form. It's gonna create our front lip, and then this whole piece snaps off. So all we gotta do is kind of walk our way around our countertop here and screw it in, and then we can pour the concrete right over it. it makes it pretty easy. A lot of people in the past, myself included, use melamine form. I'm gonna do something like this in place with a melamine form. Would probably end in me killing Sam, then Sam killing Jordan, and then me dying of sadness because they're both gone. You come back and you haunt Jordan to death. So anyway, we're gonna screw these in, cut some miters and stuff, and then there's a couple more things we gotta show you guys, so. America. I'm gonna tape all these seams, and then also. You think we're okay in the middle there? There's nothing here except for Hardy Backer. So I can like. You got something that looks like a line? We got the fronts of all of the countertops in, which means now we are, have these little back pieces. These are pretty cool. They give you a back to screen. So we're gonna get those installed all the way around. And then because this is dying here, me on the inside, we don't need an overhang. So we're just gonna screw a board in, just like we got over here. And then uh, we'll tape that interior edge. And then uh, get the, uh, go on to the next step of putting down our, whatever the hell that stuff's called. 
Forms are in. We got the sink things mounted in. Now next we have to add the mesh and these like Z clips that set the mesh at the perfect height. Um, we'll show you that in a sec. It's a really, really cool proprietary product. I think that uh, Z countertops makes that makes this uh, much, much easier. And then we'll get to mixing and dumping some mud. Concrete, it's actually concrete, it's not mud. Mm, this guy shouldn't have had so much lunch. You don't like Nickelback? Yeah, but people just hate on them. Nickelback's the worst. These are the Z-Clips. These suspend this mesh fiber in the cement concrete. I don't know if those are different or the same, but whatever. They're not. And this helps reinforce and keep things from cracking and splitting. Typically when you drop like rebar or mesh or anything into it, it floats up or it becomes an issue or you have to do it in two pours or whatever. So they have these clips, they clip onto the mesh and we're going about every foot. Clippity clip, snippity snip. And then you can get access with a screw and just screw it in. We're gonna go ahead and do this whole way across. Z clip into Z mold and you make a Z counter. These are Z clips for Z form. Now we have to screw the clips to the hardy backer to hold the mesh in. After this is in, I think we can pour, I think, right? But you make this grid, put the first row into the plastic barrier, and then you go about a foot to the next row, and a foot, and then you do one in the middle. It makes a nice grid, keeps it nice tight, keeps it at the right height, and it's gonna keep the concrete pretty strong. It's just very tedious work. Couldn't have said it better myself because I literally just tried and I had no idea what I was saying. A hundred more to go. Whoa. That's not what it looks like. Hey Jordan, did you get all that bleach I asked for? The bleach and the rope. I also got us the rental car. And John, did you get those license plates we asked for? Everybody here is f***ed in the head. <laughs> All right, so we are working with Fishstone, who makes a high-performance concrete products. I'm super pumped about that. Got the recommendation from our good buddy, Mike Clifford at Industrial Maker, who would potentially be the YouTube king of concrete. He recommended working with Fishstone, and we're getting a little scientific here now. I'm not gonna get crazy specific, but we're mixing some fibers, a shrinkage reducing agent. All this stuff's gonna kinda go together and in an individual batch. We're taking a bucket in, dump in, come back out, and we're gonna just you know work that way. We gotta scale out. This could get sloppy, it could get squirrely. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. Hopefully nothing pisses and leaks all over the kitchen and ruins anything, because I gotta leave in two hours. That's the butts, let's go. Gallon of water, zero the water. Grams, 55 grams of fiber. Nailed it. Let's go dump this shit. Jordan. What do you need, what do you need? Classic gloves. Or give me them firm grip gloves. F him. He didn't screw that one down. Firm grip gloves? Probably shouldn't have been so stupid. Put them on. I don't need you to put them on. Can you take that and throw it away? We're gonna need to vibrate the living shit out of this. I know that guy gave you a recipe, but should this be a little wetter? I don't think so. Okay. I was told, and no matter how much we planned, something would go wrong. We forgot to put an edge on that side, like a bunch of idiots. So this is gonna be a pretty shitty edge. Cause I've got nothing to screen on. And if you know anything about concrete, you look like that. You should be able to saw it. What you got for me? Tile plug. Okay. We're at the sink for now. Here, you can go mix again. I'll set it up. I do not know a better way to do this, so I'm packing her in with my hands. The GFRC I've done in the past has been in forms in the shop, and all of that I pack with my hands. Now, the weakest parts of the f everything happening in this entire countertop are gonna be around our sink, so it's important to make sure it's packed down tightly and you've got your proper additives, as well as plenty of mesh in those corners to help it from cracking. Crack kills, we all know that. It's going a lot better over here. I did just ram something through my hand, but it's okay. I'm not gonna lie, of all of the concrete work I've done, which is like, I mean, I come from a family of Italians, concrete is life, this is pretty hard. So if you've never worked with GFRC, I wouldn't advise jumping into it. There's some more basic products you can get into from the home store that I would definitely suggest using first. 
so far in this build, I'm, I'm pretty frustrated. I probably put a, should have put some more time and effort into learning before we got onto the job site with this whole damn kitchen. That being said, I'm so glad when it comes to the creative side of the business, I'm able to put the time and effort in before I dive into projects with Skillshare. If you're not familiar, Skillshare is an online learning platform with tons of courses, everything from you know behind the scenes business productivity, photography, videography, if you're into that, graphic design, interior design, all kinds of cool stuff. If you're looking to do any of that in your business, it's well worth putting the time and effort into learning to do it the right way. Trust me. Because we're a bunch of idiots with power tools and we're still learning this YouTube thing pretty much every single day, one course that we are loving is the YouTube success course provided by Marquez Brownlee, the absolute legend. If you're not familiar, check him out. Dude's a monster. And I love being able to learn from people who are actually in the game doing what they're saying and doing what they're teaching, which is an awesome feature with pretty much any course I've taken on Skillshare. And right now, if you guys want to learn, they are offering 30% off a year-long premium subscription for the first thousand people that sign up on the link in my description. And even if you've signed up in the past, you're able to apply this discount for the next year of your subscription. Learn the skills you need to to crush it. Don't just guess and wing it on site because I've been there. It's no fun. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Now I got to figure out if I can make some magic out of the rest of this kitchen. Oh. Don't dump, don't dump, please don't. Go ahead, dump. I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. Slap in the back. If you're Jordan Hyder, you probably know all hot slap in the back. What's wrong with Sarah? Nice to say, it looks really good. It's freaking amazing. She said, Who's that hump street in the cave? Counter over there. It's so fing hard to street. I didn't know you participated. Can't say you never, you didn't try. You can get a participation trophy on this one. I'll never lose because of lack of effort. You'll be outskilled, outsmarted. Two more. My back. That'll be fine. Four new backs. A lot of booze. <laughs> My hands are so wet. Put that hand here, and I'll walk it up to you. That's the best I'm gonna do. Okay, so we're screeded, which was a massive pain in the ass because there's not a ledge on the back there. So just be aware, it's really hard. It's really hard. I've done a lot of concrete. So Sam, that was hard. But we're level now. So this is called a mag float. Z Countertops sells this with their forms. And then Jordan's going around and vibrating all of our edges. He has a recip saw with no blade and it just There's a bunch of ways to do it. Some people use a sander with no pad on it. So I'm gonna go around and start smoothing out our counter after Jordan hits it with the vibration. I'm gonna hit it then come back and hit it with the stainless float for one last scrape. And then we'll tent this thing and she's gonna sit for a few days. Hey, look, it's me. Boom. Getting, we gotta get tented, and I gotta drive to another state. We got a Lickasaurus Rex here, and it's ruining my shit. My motherfucker. Everything is fucked. It's all a terrible idea. Damn, good thing we didn't paint these. Ball me, because that paint is fucking tits. Hard as rock. And my floor is completely, I mean, completely ruined. You see the bottom corner? Yeah. Bottom corner. What are you doing? Corner, just grab the corner. With your left hand, put the right hand down, go up, tape it to the top of your cabinet. Sam will assist with the tape. Two days later. So it's been 48 hours and the tenting has only fallen down a little bit. We're pretty antsy. Let's get this down. I only hate it a little bit. Nah, it's not bad. It looks pretty good. So much different than like what we usually do with pork concrete. I don't know how I feel. I was hoping for some more sheen. I think that might come with the ceiling though. I think so. Fortunately, we didn't get much leaking, huh? Got a little bit of separation here, so I'm just gonna run this knife, pop the front off. All right, you ready, Sam? I guess so. Ooh, Ooh. this actually looks pretty good. Like, really good. Hey, Jordan. Tons of bubbles. Straight, does it? Quarter inch off. 
was better. Yeah, a little bit, huh? So because of the rookiness, we have a little bit of unevenness on the surface here. I'm gonna hit it with 60, 80, 120, 220 grit. We did it over here and it looks pretty good still. But I will say we should have put a lot more time into troweling. We didn't put an, even anywhere close to enough after doing some research. So we're gonna make some lemonade. Uh, I still think it should look really good. So to try to save this, make it a little bit smoother on top, we're going to pour what is called a skim coat, I think. So we're doing some fortifier or some water and we're gonna just get this to be like peanut buttery and then uh, skim it over the top. Hope I don't screw it up. The counter is as good as we can get it because we suck. That means it's time to seal her up. So we've got the two-part sealer from the Z countertops. And it's like a water-based acrylic. This is actually super easy. So we just roll this stuff on. We're gonna give it a probably three or four coats. That should help smooth it out. We'll hit it with a little 200 grit between, and this should help us get this thing wrapped today. Yay! Next thing and most important thing for the day. We want to get this sink installed, mostly because I'm tired of washing my coffee mug in that bathroom. Jordan eats a lot of fiber. I eat wings. So we're just going to mount this thing. We've already fit it and it fits inside. So a little silicone caulk. This is actually made for this kitchen and bath sealant. We'll get this set down in here and then we'll start working on some plumbing. Sink installation with Jordan and John. Yeah, I think I want to caulk the bottom of the sink and then... You need help? No. Remember who always needs help here? All of us. You. We're putting these clips that will seat. And I need a new sink. back. And uh, and then if you got a new back, just send it. Uh, trying to. Fabric cobble and some plumbing. Things we're not qualified to do. I'm actually a turtle stuck on my back. So I bought a fancy, very fancy, fancy little. It's, so, it's like a French kitchen. One, springs. Two, why the hell not? It's made by a company called Kraus. I'll have a link down in the description if you're interested in something similar. It seems to be pretty simple here. So I'm gonna hit her from the top. You won't hit her from the bottom. Don't tell my wife. This is pretty self-explanatory, I think, though. I just want to make sure I put these on in the correct order. Diagram, the gram of Here we go, here we go, yeah. Goes on top, it goes on top. You give me that O. Give me that O, give me that O ring. I've been having a good old. O, 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 O ring. It's in place. Ow. All right, come on, Jerry, get down there. Hot damn, it looks good. Jordan, tell me how good it looks. Looks a little loose. Sinks in, lunch has been eaten, the forks have been washed, which makes me very happy, and we're not leaking over here. One of the reasons I went with this sink is because uh, we had a double bowl before, and Mama Bear here and Baby Bear, we just like a single bowl. So, this crowd sink specific. Oh, oh, nice. You can put the cutting board here. Oh my god. And ways to go straight down in. Oh. They also make a plastic wow. drying rack you can run across. This is not sponsored either, by the way. This is incredible. Link in, link in the Googles. And then, oh my god. that's oh my god. a colander. I can't get over this. This is incredible. Yes. How much? Take all the monies? Yeah. Yes, take all the monies. Was it really expensive? So, no, it was only, yeah, like, it was so. only like 300 bucks for the sink. In context, like, it's not cheap, but it's also not breaking the bank, I don't think, when you're doing an upgrade like this, so. Wow. From our side, well worth it. I cannot believe this. <laughs> nice faucet, too, so Kraus, really nice stuff. First time I've worked with them. We have Loving suffered it. through. We've been suffering for years. We really have been suffering. The other sink spat mud. And we had to deal with it. Can we throw this away? A ceremonious disposal of sure. this disgusting you throw it away in our trash can holder. Oh my god. Wow. And Hank will get in the trash. Wow. Big wow. Day. Oh my god. I can't even believe it. And now that we got the finish on the top, that's gonna be a wrap. There's not much else to do here. This was quite difficult. Um, if you got any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I'd love to read them uh, and improve on my concrete skills with something like this in the future. And if you wanna see the rest of the kitchen renovation, I got a whole playlist right here.